Hey everybody, Steve from Steve's Makerspace, and today I am looking at machine learning and drawing with my finger, waving in the air. That's pretty cool, isn't it? So I am in P5JS. This is using something called hand pose uh, to track my where my fingers are. And then I wrote a program uh, to use the finger tracking in order to draw stuff. So uh, I could go over here and, let's see, select green, and then move over here and I can draw some green. It's uh, pretty bad as a drawing program, but it's pretty neat that you can do this. Uh, we'll select some red. And then we'll draw a red line. And it's pretty slow. And now I can clear the screen with this over here. And there it goes. So that's pretty neat. If I had to turn off my webcam because it was interfering with uh, this program from running properly. So I'll stop this. This all starts with ml5.js. This is the site. I will link to this. The JS stands for JavaScript. ML stands for machine learning. This is set up to work well with P5.js, which is the programming language that I've been using in recent videos. The JS stands for JavaScript. The P5 is a library of functions that is added to JavaScript. ML5 is using TensorFlow, which is a machine learning application that was developed by Google. So we have here on the left-hand side a collection of different machine learning applications. And one of these applications is called HandPose. So here is demonstration of HandPose. There are examples here. We'll go to the hand pose webcam example and we'll see if this runs while my webcam is operating. I don't know if it will. Nope, I got an error. So let's go back. All right, so if I hold up my hand, you can see that it's tracking my fingers. So that how this is happening is that uh, there is a pre-trained model. Someone fed the computer lots and lots of images of people's hands and I believe as they did that, they did dots on all of those hand images and said, okay, well this, if you see this right here, this is the index finger. If you see this right here, this is the end of the thumb and so forth. And so they did that with um, maybe a million images. And by doing that, the machine eventually came to realize that this is a thumb and so now when i show it this image it says oh this is a thumb so what i did with my program was i isolated this finger so this this point right here is my drawing finger my drawing point and then it's also um, i'm also tracking this point right here and this point here uh, the knuckle and so if when i want to move around the screen without drawing I do like this, and now this point is below my knuckle. So I'm telling the program, if this point is above this point, then don't draw. And if this point is below this point, the knuckle point, then do draw. And then I got rid of the display of all these other points. Similar to the hand pose, there is a face mesh. You can see here. So let's run that. So we'll go to examples, the P5 web editor. I'll click on webcam, run it. It's gonna take a little while to load up. And there we go. Hi, we've got our face mesh. So what might be possible? though I don't know quite how to do it, is you could map all these points to some other uh, a character, and so you're displaying, say, a lion. 
and you're doing the lion's face with your face. So that would be pretty cool. But you could also maybe control things in the screen just by saying, ah. And you could track the point at the top of your mouth and the bottom of your mouth. And if these two points were apart from each other, you could do one thing. And if these two points were close together, you could do another thing. Like maybe you could play a sound. If I open my mouth, ah, uh, then a sound comes out. Like not my voice, but you know, a musical note. I did a slight edit to this program where I added a, a particular point. So this is point zero of the mesh. And there are 400, I think, 500 points uh, in the face mesh. And if I hit Z, it's going to go to the next point. Oh, I think I have to click on the screen first. There we go. Z, it's clicking. It's going to the next point in the face mesh. And you can see the, um, the red dot moving as I hit Z over and over again. So it's going to all sorts of different points. This is point 12, 13, 14, etc. There's also a PoseNet webcam here. I'm going to show you something that Dan Schiffman made. This is Dan Schiffman and his Coding Train YouTube channel. I will link to his channel in the description. So Dan uh, did the YMCA. So you can see this is PoseNet is tracking my body. Uh, and he did Y. I don't even know how, how it how he does there is <laughs> it's trying to determine whether I'm doing a Y an M or C or an A uh, Dan Schiffman trained this model but it's not very good uh, so it's trying to determine I think this is M so Y A M and I haven't been very successful getting C's to work well but he wasn't very successful in getting this thing to work well either. So, Also here under the helpers section, there's the image section is where the pose net and the face mesh and the hand pose is. And in the helpers section, KNN classifier, and you go to examples, P5 web editor, here's a classification pose net. So here's another pose net and we can train this model here. So I'm going to add examples of class A and class B. I'll try turning my head to one side and that'll be class A. And I'm going to click on this a bunch of times and I'm giving it images of me with my head turned to the right. Alright, so I've given it a hundred of those. Now I'm going to do some to the left. And I wish it wasn't way down here, but that's the way it is. So I'll do to the left. It's got a hundred images and there's a start predicting here. So I'll click on that. And now if I turn to the right, I wish it wasn't like this, but here we go. Uh, so I turn to the right and it says hundred percent. It's model A. Turn to the left. It says hundred percent. This is model B. But I can go back and forth. And I can assign something to class A and class B. Maybe I'm controlling uh, something on the screen and I want it to go right or I want it to go left. Or maybe I change the color of the screen. Let's go black. Let's make it white. So that is how that works. I am planning to make another video on some other features of ML5, some other types of machine learning uh, applications. So look for that soon and check out the links in the description of the video. If you like this video, you can give it a like. Consider subscribing to the channel. Comments are always welcome. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye now. Steve's Makerspace.